This week, television is as fun as mirrors. Two days and two nights non-stop. The cult series Address Unknown. All the episodes, all the madness in our return to Sender Marathon. Mirror's men had caught me. Their black van took me out of the city. The countryside was sickingly pretty. The sun setting on a sweet summer day. Rain sparkling on grass. Birds in the trees. Children playing. Ah, the Pink Bird Mental Institute. Mirror's men pretended to be hospital wardens. The flesh. The flesh. I think I died. I think I'm dead. I don't know. I don't know. Death is coming. It's coming. They're here. They're here. Get away. Get away. I'm gonna hurt you. I'm gonna hurt you. <laughs> they said I was an escaped mental patient. Diagnosis? Paranoid schizophrenic. You are insane. Psychotic. You have to eat plenty of pills to get better. They lied that I had killed my girlfriend. John Mira came to mock me in the bathroom mirror. <laughs> the flamingo was with him. Mira's heart more fun than television. Mira claimed my girlfriend had turned evil, joined him. She has died her carrot. I smashed the mirror. I'd kill them all. Stay tuned as Address Unknown continues. My double was John Mira. He was the devil incarnate, a fallen angel. The flesh of fallen angels. He was a serial killer. He had framed me for his murders. I was hiding in a cheap motel. One night, I woke to a knock at my door. Someone slipped a note under the door. It was a clue. I descended into a mystery, desperate to catch him, to find my girlfriend, to save her. A labyrinth my devil's making from one prison verse to the next. Welcome back to our return to Sender Marathon. Two days and two nights of the 90s cult series, Address Unknown. All the episodes in a row, a real descent to madness. I was lost in the streets of Noir York. The city had swallowed Mira and my girlfriend. I was part of some elaborate game, complex for its own sake. <laughs> Every time I looked over my shoulder, I saw a shadow disappearing behind the corner, or the glint of binoculars in a window. They were spying on me, following my every move. When Mira killed again, the map of the city changed. Like a shifting glacier, a new crack appeared with every gunshot. 
I had abandoned all conventional methods of navigation. I was following the bloody signs he kept leaving me. And he was watching me do it. The next episode of Address Unknown, right after the break in our Return to Sender Marathon. Unknown continues. Wherever I went, the payphones started to ring. Finally, I collected enough courage to answer one. John! You must run! He's coming after you! He wants to catch you! They're closing in! John, I love you! Don't give up! I wasn't gonna give up on her. I could hear her voice in my head wherever I went, guiding me. I traced my double to a classy uptown nightclub, Pink Flamingo. It was happy hour. They were serving flamingo cocktails. Somehow the flamingo was tied to my double. <laughs> a stripper in the bar looked just like my girlfriend. Mira's men had found me. I ran. Stop it! There he goes! Stop it! You can't escape! We're coming to take you away! You have nowhere to run! Mira was an influential figure in Noir York. His men chased me. They wore white uniforms. They looked so clean. They chased me in black vans with the logo of the flamingo on them. I ran. Address Unknown continues. tumor in your brain. It's making you mad. We're forced to operate aggressively. The fake doctors were trying to confuse me, saying I was John Mira, pumping me full of drugs. No, no. None of that. Give it back. He's you. He has the drill. Restrain him. No, no. Now, easy, easy, just hand it over. There's a good boy. Hey, stay back! No! I was in charge, but still woozy from the drugs. I had to escape. I couldn't let them stop me. Death is coming. It's coming. He's coming. Get away! Get away! Mind-bending finale in our return to Sender Marathon, the last episode of Address Unknown ever. The poet Poole, in his poem, Somebody's Been Wearing My Face Again, wrote, In this hall of mirrors, built by liars, I am a pale reflection of myself. I had escaped from the Pink Bird Mental Institute. I was lost in Noir, York City. I couldn't find my way back home. John Mira had made me a killer. I had become him, John Mira. Maybe I had always been him. John Mira. Yes, this is he. This is John Mira. Welcome to the next level. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 
unknown. I don't want to go there. It's the last place I'd want to end up. But that's where I always end up anyway. Only, it's not me talking to the pink flamingo, but someone who looks the part down to the finest detail, except that he's evil. I'm hiding in the shadows, watching it all unfold. The flamingo speaks. He can speak here. It says, There's a no content television. That's, mirrors are more fun than television. Somehow I know this, just don't ask me how. <laughs> and I, not me, but my double, nods and smirks at this like it was the funniest thing in the world. <laughs> and then something goes wrong, and suddenly they know I'm there, hiding behind them, and they both turn to look at me with cold eyes. And the flamingo speaks again. <laughs> I have no idea what that means. And that's when I always wake up to my own scream in that brightly lit white hospital room, strapped to my bed 